It's a bright and sunny day here. It puts me in such an amazing mood. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I love rainy days too. They put me in an equally good mood, just a different kind of good mood. But today is nice and sunny. I have wonderful open windows. Uh, it's just amazing. Welcome back everybody, Kathleen Hart here from A Little Piece of Heart blog. I'm gonna be sharing today with you my video about my intermittent fasting routine. I am so excited to share this video because I think it will give you an insight into exactly how I'm eating and what time I'm eating everything, and I just think you guys are gonna love it. So this is gonna be my intermittent fasting routine as well as what I eat in a day. If you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below, and then also like this video with a big thumbs up if you like it and you wanna see more videos like this one. And without further ado, let's get into what I eat in a day and when. So in the morning, I will have two cups of my cruise control coffee. So in this is just regular brewed coffee, one tablespoon of butter, also in here is MCT oil, Himalayan pink sea salt, stevia in the raw, and heavy cream. I put all of these ingredients into hot coffee and then I take my blender, my handheld blender, which I will link down below if you guys wanna check it out on Amazon, and I just blend this up for about 20 to 30 seconds and it has the nicest, frothiest top. It almost tastes like a coffee house coffee. I don't want you guys to get scared of putting all of these kind of like weird ingredients into your coffee. It literally tastes amazing, especially because you're putting into coffee like sort of normal things and they mask the other things that are quote unquote weird. And then you put the MCT oil in there, which literally has no taste to me at all. And the sea salt doesn't really have a taste. Just don't put too much. I've done that. And then you're like, ah, salty. Um, so just be careful. I just put about like half of a grind of the Mickey Mouse grinder that I have and you're good to go. Now, MCT oil, be careful with that. If you use more than like a teaspoon, you could have like some stomach issues. Um, I usually just do two squirts and that's perfect. That is equal to about one teaspoon. I tried to measure it, but this container, it just comes out way too fast and then I would be like splattering it all over. So now I just do boop, boop, and that's it. And the butter, actually when you when you uh, use the blender, it kind of just like makes it all foamy. You really don't taste butter. So I'm obsessed with this coffee. I will have two cups of this before my uh, fasting window is over. And then I will move on to a little snack at 11 o'clock. So a.m. So my eating window is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And this is great because I'm able to, you know, skip that kind of like morning breakfast because I really didn't eat that anyway. And I don't know, I just feel like eating this way just makes perfect sense to me. But you can choose any eating window you want. So all it is is an eight hour eating window and a 16 hour fast window. But remember, for the majority of the fasting, you're sleeping. So it kind of makes it a lot easier. So like I said, mine is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. At 11 a.m., I will have three to five macadamia nuts, just to break the fast. And then, my son's usually napping at this point, so once he wakes up for lunch around 12 o'clock, that is when I will have my first meal. So right now, I'm actively trying to lose weight. So I am eating the snack, and then I'm having a meal for lunch, a meal for dinner, and a treat. So these are all from the George Cruz book, the new cruise control diet book that he just came out with. And these are all meals from his book. I've been following the diet plan, but I'm an OG from the uh, original book, The 100, that he wrote. And I found that if I followed the diet and ate every single thing on his list, I got unmotivated. Because there's certain things that I don't wanna eat. There's certain things that just don't sound good to me. I mean, they, you might love it, but like one of the meals is like a Greek salad and it's chicken and feta and a couple of other things, cucumber, and then like lemon juice as your dressing. I'm good, like I'm good on that. Like I'm not a big fan of just lemon juice on a salad for dressing. I'm also not a big fan of feta cheese. So you know what, I'm gonna skip that and I'm just gonna pick and choose the different meals from the four week meal plan in the book. I can't talk, you guys aren't gonna see this, but I literally said that four times. 
So I usually take and pick and choose meals um, kind of out of order so that it can fit what I like to eat and then I stay super motivated because I'm eating everything that I want to eat and I'm excited. Like you guys know me, you know I get excited for food. I'm excited to meal prep. I'm excited for lunch. I get excited for snacks. I mean, are you really living if you're not excited for your next meal? I don't think so. So that's what I do and that's been working great for me. So for lunch today, I'm having one of my absolute favorite things and it is butternut squash along with some grilled chicken and a small spinach salad just topped with a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette and do a sprinkle of fresh cracked black pepper and Himalayan sea salt right on top of all of this. And I'm eating this right with Austin having his lunch around 12:15. And also what I'm drinking all day long is I'm filling this up with about this much ice and then I do the rest water and half of a lemon. That's my go-to. Also do a grind, a full circle grind from my Minnie Mouse grinder. I will do a full circle grind into this and I will do the Himalayan pink sea salt. And if you read the new George Cruz book, he just explains how that actually, just by adding the Himalayan pink salt to your water will hydrate you, it will give you electrolytes, it will stop the keto flu. Guys, you saw my video from last year where I was like battling the keto flu for nine days. Like, I wish I had just known about this is my outfit. I wish I would have known about this because literally I was feeling like a little bit like I was getting there like the first couple days of doing the fasting and this new kind of way of eating and then as soon as I put some salt in my water I was golden. Where has this been? Like, why did I not know about this? Why? Why? But anyway I'm here to help you if you're feeling like you're doing the keto flu and you're not feeling well put some Himalayan pink salt into your water and I guarantee you the headache will go away the fatigue the nauseous feeling like so many things just disappeared it's like a miracle but anyway read the new book it's all in there and it explains it a heck of a lot better than I'm probably doing right now but I will put salt and lemon in my water and I'm good to go. At night, I will have club soda in here and I will put some ice, half of a lemon and half of a lime juice and it's literally like the best soda alternative you could ever have, it's delicious. So I'll probably drink, eh, I don't know, like six to seven of these a day and I will link this cup down below if anybody wants to check it out. It is a much, much, much better price point and it's the Arctic brand than Yeti. Yetis are great. This is literally just as good. It keeps hot things hot, cold things cold. I absolutely love it. And the color, you can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't love teal? I mean, it's my favorite color. All right, so three o'clock hits. My son's down for his nap again and I am starving. This is like when I'm kind of having that weird before dinner, after lunch, like weird period where I'm just starving. So I will have almond butter with some chopped raw almonds and I will also have a little bit of whipped cream on this. This is what I personally like to call like the low carb or fluff or nutter because who doesn't love marshmallow fluff, peanut butter and like soft white bread? Like, hello, that's my jam or it used to be my jam. Now this is just as good. This is like what I crave now. This is my go-to afternoon snack. I absolutely love it and it just hits the spot. It's got good fats, it's got good carbs, it's got a little bit of sweetness, that salty sweet, oh, it's just absolutely perfect and I'm obsessed. This is what I have for my 3 p.m. snack. Now moving on to dinner. Dinner is my absolute favorite time of the night because it's when I get to sit down with my son and my husband and we just get to like, you know, joke around, talk about our days, just, you know, family time. Who doesn't love family time? So what I've been doing lately, and people have been asking me this on um, Instagram because they've been responding to like DMing me and I tell people like what I'm eating and what my husband is eating and everything and they're like, you're more, multiple people have said this. You really make like multiple things for dinner? And I'm like, huh, I never thought of it that way, but I guess I do. But it doesn't, it's not as bad as it seems because my meals are so easy to just whip and throw together. Especially, you saw my lunch, like most of that was already prepped beforehand. So that's easily something I could meal prep. Dinner is kind of the same. Tonight I'm having a tomato stack and it's just tomato, mo fresh mozzarella cheese, and some basil leaves, salt and pepper. 
and some balsamic vinegar. So it's super easy, like it's just like chop, 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 and you're good to go. So I still love cooking. I'm absolutely obsessed with cooking. So when I cook for my husband and my son, it's like I still get that cooking urge out of me, but then my meal I just throw it together and I'm so motivated right now because I'm seeing great results with inches and weight loss and just how I feel in general that it's making me stay motivated so that like the other night, if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I made chicken pot pie for my husband and my son because that's my son's favorite thing right now. And I didn't even feel like I had to steal a bite. Like I really didn't. Who am I? Like who turns down like fresh homemade chicken pot pie? I even made the crust guys. Like what? What? I made all of that and I didn't even have any. Smelled delicious. My husband said it was phenomenal. My son ate it all, so it must have been good. But I think I had the same thing I'm having today. I think I had a tomato stack. So you just have to be in the right mindset too. If you're not in the right mindset, it's not gonna work. I don't think anything's gonna work in life if you're not in the right mindset, especially just being negative and positive. If you're positive about your life and your experiences and you're grateful, good things are gonna happen to you. You're just gonna go up. You're just gonna get better and better. So. Anyway, that is what I eat in a day. After dinner, I finished eating by seven o'clock. I didn't have any wine today. Sometimes I have wine, but um, today I did not. I am seeing weight loss more per day if I don't have wine, so I'm like, oh, bye, see you later. I'll see you when I get to my goal weight. <laughs> wine, bye. But for now, I am just focusing on eating healthy food, sticking to the diet, and just trying to lose my weight to get to my goal weight, and then I will maintain from there. So I'm done eating by seven o'clock. At that point, I will switch over to the water or club soda, little combo that I've got going. I will st still do lemon and lime juice because you can have that during your fasting window. If you wanted to, you could have a decaf coffee or a decaf tea at night if you wanted to. I'm not, like I said, in my last video. I get heart palpitations if I have any coffee besides the, the two that I have in the morning and I just choose not to, but you definitely could because it's your fasting window. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new. We're doing a kind of new little twist on the low carb here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, hope you have a wonderful day. Spread some positivity. Go make somebody happy today. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular, crazy, amazing day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. She was upside down that whole time. Oh no, was my necklace really upside down that whole time? Guys, pretend, yeah, just pretend it was flipped. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> ah.